of Ask the Shelving Experts. Last week I talked about the top five most frequently asked questions that we get here at J. Thomas Home, like what size floating shelf I should order, how much weight they can hold, and what wood type is best for floating shelves. If you want the answers to those questions too, watch my video above. But I think the place that people get stuck most is trying to pick the stain color for their space. If you're local to Kansas City, you can jump on our website, jthomashome.com and schedule an appointment to come check them out in person. We've shipped our shelves to every state in America. So what if you don't live anywhere close to here? I'm hoping this video will help. I have samples cut of all of our wood types and I'm going to stain each one so that you can get an up close view of what finish might look best for your space. But they're over at the finishing shop, so follow me. shop. This is actually our shipping facility as well. In the wood shop, the shelves are cut to length and sanded, prepped and ready for stain. And then they make their way over here and they get stained in the afternoon. We allow them to dry overnight and then in the morning we paint a clear satin top coat on them. So for the last hour, it took me an hour <laughs> to stain all of these samples. Um, but I'm so excited. They turned out really great. And I know you can't really see them well from there. So I'm going to walk you through each of the stain colors that we have and take a look at them on each individual wood type. And then I'm gonna pause and reorganize here. I will get them all grouped by individual wood type so you can see all, I think 11, colors in the same wood type as well. I think that'll help having both points of view. All right, let's just take a quick overview here so you can see all of the different stain possibilities that we have here at J. Thomas Home. Um, so you are going to find just the color that you need. I want to start down on this end. I tried to work my way lightest to darkest. Um, and this first column is just all of the natural wood colors. So we have pine, alder, maple, that bright white one, white oak, and walnut. So I'm going to talk about these here and then the characteristics kind of apply all the way down so we can move through the stain colors a little bit quicker. This is pine wood. You can see it has more of a dramatic, very noticeable grain line. Um, one thing that's kind of cool is if you order just our standard pine online, um, it'll look like the rest of the pine samples I have over here. But we do have a reclaimed pine option. It's a little bit thicker than our other pine. Um, can you see that difference there? And it comes with this really cool finish. This would be what's on the front. So if you hung this on your wall, this would be what you see. So that's a really cool option as well I wanted to highlight. Um, but the pine is kind of a natural light, golden, white-ish wood color. And this has our clear satin top coat. So it has a little bit of white. You can see um, this is just natural pine. It's a tiny bit lighter and this has our clear coat on it. It's a little bit darker. Same here with our um, alder wood. Alder generally doesn't have as dramatic of grain lining. Um, it's pretty smooth, creamy finish. On the site, you'll see that we have two different alder woods. Um, one is rustic alder, and then one is superior alder. And a really good example of that is, this is what we would consider rustic. This is great if you have maybe a vacation home in the mountains and you're looking to design and um, have home decor that's more cabin vibe. 
versus this is what I would say is a good example of superior where there is a little bit less character like those knots and knot holes. The alder wood just naturally has more of a tan pink color. Take a look at it here um, next to this just bright white maple almost. You can see there's a slight tannish pink undertone um, and then how kind of more white gold um, the pine wood is. Pine and alder are pretty light weight wood, um, a little softer. You work your way down here and now we hit maple. Maple, um, the lining, the grain lines on maple isn't too dramatic. Um, again, it is that really, really bright white wood, uh, more of a Scandinavian uh, minimalist contemporary feel. Um, so really, really pretty, but it's a closed grain wood. And I'll talk more about what that means, what the implications are for that here in a little bit as we look at the stain colors. Here you go, white oak wood. This is everybody's favorite. It's by far our most popular wood. And this is actually the most popular finish for it. Um, just natural, unstained with our clear satin top coat on it. Just really beautiful. Um, you're gonna find this on flooring, cabinetry, and definitely floating shelves in high-end kitchens, luxury kitchen designs. Um, white oak's probably your best bet there. Um, this is walnut. I messed up the back side, so ignore that. Um, but this is just the beautiful, timeless, classic walnut wood that folks think about when you say walnut. Um, that rich brown color and this side. Generally, we stain it with special walnut stain um, and then we clear coat that. But this is considered um, the base colors for all of our wood types here. So then new, brand new information, you are the first to hear it. We are going to be adding some new stain colors. Two of them are here. Um, this is our whitewash and then our sand. The whitewash, kind of have to get a close up detail. It just has the tiniest little bits of streaks of white. It's so pretty. This is on the pine. It's really smooth and creamy on that alder. The maple doesn't look too much different, to be honest. It is a little bit even wider than before, so still really pretty. Um, what surprised me the most was how much I like it on the white oak. I'm very protective of the white oak. It's at a high price point already, and people are purchasing it just because of that beautiful white oak color in the first place. So I very strongly recommend folks don't stain it. Um, but I might make an exception in these two cases, to be honest, it looks so beautiful on this white oak wood. I think this is the color that you guys have just really been asking for. Um, so I'm excited to get this out to you. It's going to be perfect. And then this is kind of fun. As we go down the walnuts, you are not going to see very much variation at all. If I stain walnut wood, Puritan pine, early American, special walnut, honestly, you cannot tell the difference. But something like this, the whitewash, obviously gives it that more weathered look. Um, so that's really pretty. Kind of along the same lines. Um, I, this is just classic, timeless. I am very protective of the walnut as well, um, but I think it does look really gorgeous. The whitewash looks gorgeous on this walnut. So moving on to the sand, here's the deal. Like I said, white oak is the most popular color and it is also very expensive. So people want this natural white oak color without the white oak price tag. And I think this is our answer, the sand tone. Here's that white oak next to pine, one of the most affordable options that we have. Um, here in person, it's very similar. There's not a lot of differentiation there. Let's check it out on the alder. 
getting pretty close. The thing with alder is it has like a natural pink tone that um, the white oak has more of a golden undertone. So that's gonna, that's why they vary a little bit there. Um, maple, still pretty light, but it is pretty. And then we have the white oak with the sand color that is gorgeous, even more of a driftwood look to me. And then the sand on the walnut as well. So here's getting ahead of myself, but we'll see them all together here in just a minute. Really pretty. Okay, we're moving on to Puritan Pine. Um, here is the set all together. And close up, we have Puritan Pine stain on pine wood. A little confusing but it's a light golden color. On the alder, since it already has that tan pink undertone, it's a little bit warmer there. And you can see how across the board, the maple is just lighter than the rest of the wood tones, no matter what stain color it is. That's because maple has just a really tight closed grain. And so the stain kind of rests on top. It doesn't really seep in as deep and rich as some of the other stains, which I actually like that. It creates kind of a weathered, faded look um, that's really, really beautiful. Again, if you're kind of going for more modern, contemporary finish. The Puritan on the White Oak looks absolutely gorgeous as well. And then not a lot of difference here, just a tiny bit lighter. Um, so if you're thinking maybe the walnut is just too dark, it's beautiful, but it's just a little bit too dark, Puritan Pine might be a great option for you. Moving on to Early American and Special Walnut. These are the two that look the most similar to me. It depends on if the wood grain is really, really tight or if it's spread apart. Um, that can make these colors vary. Um, significantly but early American and special walnut almost the same color just one is lighter and one is a little bit darker it's basically in the same tone though early American on alder and special walnut again there's that kind of light faded tone on the maple um, looks really pretty on the white oak as well I think up here is more true to real life. There's early American on walnut and special walnut. Not a lot of difference there. So we'll move on to our pecan. Pecan is a beautiful medium brown tone. It doesn't have any red undertones. Looks really great if you're just trying to warm up maybe a white kitchen with grays, maybe a darker wood on the flooring that you don't necessarily want to bring up into your shelving. Uh, pecan is a great choice. Special walnut would be another great choice for that scenario as well, um, but it may have more reddish undertones, especially if you get the alder option. If you're looking to steer clear of red, I would recommend pecan for that scenario. Next is Willow Bend. It is a very beautiful dark brown. It has subtle gray undertones and really, really pretty. Like it a lot. It starts to take a little more shape on the walnut. I would say through pecan, um, well, pecan's a little bit darker there, but yeah, not a lot of variation here through special walnut on the walnut wood. Pecan's a, a touch darker, but I can start to see it more on the willow bend. Um, here's espresso. Espresso is also a dark chocolatey brown to me. It has a red undertone, so it's gonna be kind of that purpley, red, warm color. Something important to know about carbon is it is our dark, smoky black color, but it's not totally black you're going to see the wood grain through it. So if you're looking for solid black, um, this isn't the color for you, but shoot us a message, we can help you out with that. 
the carbon is going to be translucent where you can still see the wood grain underneath. Last but not least, we have gray wash. So taking a look at that on our pine, alder, maple, white oak, and walnut. Grays are so hard, you guys. I know it is. Um, I'm sure you've tried several grays trying to find the right one. We feel really great about this gray. If anything, it leans just a little bit into the All blue. right, I'm gonna mix these up into their wood types so we can take a look at all of the stain colors together by wood types now. them all sorted out here so let's take a close-up look so you can see what might be the best finish for your space okay, first one thing that I wanted to share is we do have so these are our five wood types oh, um, but we do have one more and it's called our paint ready shelf um, and it's made out of poplar wood not popular it's poplar great um, paint grade wood um, sometimes with maybe pine or maybe the rustic alder, you'll have some of those knots or knot holes, something like that. Poplar's really great, especially if you're trying to paint something pure white and you don't want a lot of prep work, you're just ready to paint. Um, this is great. I just wanna point out poplar tends to have, oh, here's a good example, tends to have like a greenish, light green or maybe even um, a faded gray strip through it so that's why it's really great for painting um, it's a nice nice wood um, but if you are staining it I just wanted to highlight that you'll have to take into consideration that green or that gray with the stain that you purchase check out our website if you're looking to paint yourselves um, we have paint ready options ready to go this is pine in all of the different colors and I'm going to zoom in a little so that you can get a better picture of each color. Okay, and then we have alder. And just to reiterate, alder and superior alder are the exact same wood. The superior alder, we just cut around any of that character like knots or knot holes so you have a smoother more modern look all right and then we have maple here i'll zoom in look at those new finishes whitewash and sand you guys are gonna love those okay and then we have white oak by far the most popular shelf that we're doing right now is this unstained with comes with a clear satin top coat but i think the new colors whitewash and sand they may give unstained a run for their money so i'll be excited to launch those soon if you would like information about the whitewash option or the sand option um comment below or send me a message since it's not yet on our website don't forget this is um this is special walnut the unstained that we do is special walnut stain as well all right oh. Thanks so much for tuning in to the second episode of Ask the Shelving Experts. I hope that was helpful for you to see all of the wood types and the stain colors kind of up close. Um, hopefully that helps you pick out which option might be the best for your space. If you still have questions, hop on our website. You could order some samples to see in person, especially if you're stuck still between a couple of them or maybe a couple wood types. If you want to uh, snap and send a picture of your space, you can send it to me in a message or an email. I'm happy to take a look and 
give you what I think would be the best recommendation for your space. And subscribe to our channel. We're going to be uploading weekly videos all about floating shelves and tips and tricks for you. Like and share this video, especially if you know somebody who is currently remodeling their home. There are just so many decisions to make. It's unbelievable. We recently did a renovation on our home. You'll hear more about very soon. And sometimes you just want someone to tell you what to do. If you're in that boat, reach out. I'm happy to tell you what I think would look best. Even if it's not about stain color, if you want help with sizing, even laying it out, how far apart should you install your shelves? We've helped over 100,000 customers figure out questions just like that. So I'm happy to answer those questions and make sure that it's custom and made specially just for you and your space. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Oh, I forgot. If you want information about those whitewash or sand new stain colors that aren't on our website, please comment below white or sand or both and I will message you directly and get you more information from there. Thanks.